In this tutorial, we create a PDF document containing a table. We specify the table's size, columns, cell padding, cell spacing, and several other parameters. Dynamic PDF Course Suite is a powerful tool for creating PDF documents dynamically. It includes features such as merging PDF documents, form filling, appending, and watermarking. And it includes over 80 unique page elements you can use to create rich PDF documents. One page element offered by Dynamic PDF are tables. In this tutorial, we explore creating a PDF document that includes a table. Let's get started. Create a new .NET Core C Sharp console application named Create Table Example. Add the Core Suite NuGet package. Manage NuGet packages. Browse. cete.dynamicpdf.coresuite.net. Install. OK. Add the Dynamic PDF using statement. Also add the page elements using statement. cete.dynamicpdf.pageElements. Remove the console.writeLine hello world statement. Create a new document. Create a new page instance. Page equals new page. Add the page to the document's pages collection. Create a new table using the Table2 class. And in the constructor, add the x and y coordinates, the width, and the height. Now, a table has a columns property that contains a list of column 2 class instances. You add columns to the table by specifying the add method in the table's columns collection. Add a column to the table's column collection and specify the width as 150. By returning the column, we can specify this column's formatting. Let's format the column by setting the column instance's cell alignment to center. Now, create three more columns, only this time, let's skip formatting the columns. So now we have four columns added to our table. The first column is 150 pixels wide, while the other three are 90 pixels wide. Each of the columns is an element in a column 2 list class, which is specified by the columns property in a table 2 class instance. Add a new row 2 instance to the table's rows collection. In the add method, set the height, the font, the font size, the row's text color, and the row's background color. Forty, font, we're going to make it Helvetica bold, and we're going to make it a 16 point font, and we're going to make it a grayscale dot black and grayscale dot gray. Set the row's horizontal and vertical text alignment as center. Okay, cell default dot align equals text align dot center. Uh, cell default dot v align will equal v align dot center. 
Now, as we've already added four columns to the table, we must add four cells to the row. Add one cell for each column. Cells dot add. And let's do header two for the text for a second cell. Row cells dot add. Header three for a third cell. We'll do header four for our fourth cell. Okay, so what we have now, so for row one, and then we have our first cell with header one in it. We have our second cell with header two in it. We have our third cell with header three in it. And our fourth cell with header four in it. Add two more rows. Now that we have the rows added, let's set the default padding and spacing for the cells we just added to the row. Table dot cell default dot padding dot value equals five. Table dot cell spacing equals five. So we're setting our cell spacing to five. Now specify the table's top borders properties. Top dot color equals RGB color dot black blue. The bottom borders properties and the left and right borders properties. Equals RGB color dot blue. So now we're going to set our borders top width and we're going to make it two and we're going to make the border dot bottom dot width as two as well. So we've set our line, our borders for the top and the bottom to blue and with a width of two. For the left and right borders, we specified that there should be no border line. Now add the table to the page. Specify the output path in the document's draw method. Run the application. Open the generated PDF and note we created a table consisting of three rows and four columns. Note the border top and bottom border color is blue, while there are no borders for the left and right borders. Notice that in the first row we specified a font and color in the add method, while for the other two we did not. We then specified the first cell's formatting for the remaining two rows. By formatting rows and cells, you can add rich formatting to any table that you create. Of course, this is a static example. If you had a large data set, you could do things such as loop through the data elements and generate a larger table on the fly. You can also create table-like reports using Dynamic PDF Designer to graphically create rich reports. As the two examples illustrate, Dynamic PDF Core Suite is an easy and powerful tool for creating PDFs programmatically. Using just a few lines of code, we created a PDF containing a richly formatted table.
With over 75 supported page elements, imagine the rich PDF documents you can create using Dynamic PDF Core Suite. We also support features like merging, form filling, PDFA, and digital signatures. For more information, refer to the Dynamic PDF Core Suite webpage. You can download a GitHub project showing Dynamic PDF Core Suite's capabilities from GitHub. Feel free to ask for support from our support page. There you will find forums, user manuals, examples, or you can email us. With flexible licensing and a fully functional evaluation edition you can download online, why not try Dynamic PDF Core Suite today? I'm James reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF. Until next time.